Okay. Um, these, uh, we have a Rex. Welcome everybody to um, this um, awesome kind of panel slash interview slash, I don't know, just awesomeness conversations with Rex uh, and Winton. Um, they are the stars. Oh. oh, sorry. I don't know. Alex is a... Uh, doing something <laughs> he's chatting but um they are the stars of this awesome awesome short that is hopefully going to become an episodic uh series um called peter pan and um if you guys can see my my backdrop i stole this from the trailer um and then uh and so then i wanted to show you guys because it's so awesome it's a very i got to watch it i had the privilege to watch it um when was it? Back in March, was it? Early March, before the pandemic? That sounds right. Right? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, at Cinequest. Um, Cinequest in the South Bay. Uh, so I had the privilege to yeah. actually watch the whole thing. And it, I mean, I have to, I mean, I'm partial because I um, I was born and raised in San Francisco so it just brought back all these like nostalgic memories and I felt like the um, the director and writer he's a writer too right uh, yes okay yeah the writer director this guy here all JR sorry uh, this is terrible I'm a terrible Ronnie. Oh, yes totally fine. Ronnie yeah Ronnie Allman Yes, Ronnie Allman. Um, he, um, I felt like captured the, the the essence of like the San Francisco that I grew up in back in the 80s and 90s. Um, and so it was really, really cool to uh, watch, um, you know, this and have my friends, well, I consider you guys my friends, uh, have my friends in it and, you know, basically get to see their talent and how they you know, brought themselves first take method into the, into the roles. And so I was just, I was so, so honored and privileged to watch it. And I'm so glad I got to see it in the movie theater, you know, uh, on the big screen. So anyways, um, so um, there's a lot of people here already. I'm sure more people will trickle in, but I, I thought I would like, uh, I wanted to show you guys, I think some people here actually did watch it too. Angelica, I think watched it and Damien and I don't know who else but I just I just watched it I rented oh. it on Amazon Prime oh. really good <gasps> yes exactly Thank you. where you should do your cut for your reel definitely <laughs> yeah, I've seen it too oh, oh yay yeah. yes it's on Prime I heard too so that's yep. awesome yeah woohoo wow that's <laughs> really fancy guys that's you guys that you you did a big, big thing. That's awesome. Okay, here. I am going to share. Oops. Yes, I'm going to share. Share. You guys will see. Oh, dear. You see all my private stuff. <laughs> whoopsie, whoopsie. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oops. Oh, no. You know what? I know I didn't push share sound. Isn't that the scariest thing, sharing yes. your Yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have to share my sound too. Forget about that or else everyone's going to be like, we can't hear Susan in the chat, right? Everyone's going to be like, we can't hear. Okay, so um, I'm going to mute myself because I'm a very loud person. So, uh, but you guys will be able to hear and watch this awesome trailer. Find the kid and burn his house down. I got this letter the other day and I just, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. If payment is not received by the end of the month, all occupants will be evicted from the property. I met this guy named Toodles. He's gonna get me into a group called the Lost Boys. Save Neverland from these fucking pirates.
Yeah, Mike's Beautiful. Awful. Just awful. Awfully, awfully fantastic. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks, yeah. guys. Okay, so when did you ride the motorcycle yourself? I definitely did. Not yes. Ride that. <laughs> you didn't wait for the end of that sentence. He was so hyped for me. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I definitely did not ride that. Did not. I didn't wait. Okay. Appreciate it, Alex. It's awesome. <laughs> One day in the future. Oh, yeah, Susan, you're muted. Yeah, season with, yeah. I'm all talking the whole time. I'm all, hey, guys. Um, yes, Jose, you have a question already? Oh, cool. Um, I'm going to ask a bunch of questions. Um, and then at the end, I think, but you know what? Let's just see what your question is. It might be one of my questions. Go ahead, Jose. Uh, well, my question is, um, like, how long was filming? Winston, do you want to answer that? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, like, I guess the, the main the main amount of time was a week. Like, we shot in, like, maybe five days. But then he had to do a lot of stuff, like, outside of us with just the bikes itself. So there was a lot of, like, motorcycle riding through the streets. And he did those after we did all of our scene stuff. So, like, a week. And then for him, the director and the cast and crew was probably a little a little longer. Cool. Awesome. All right. Uh, thanks, Jose. Um, so if you guys uh, that are in the uh, in the audience, I guess, um, if you guys, oh, Natalie has a question too. Okay. All right. Natalie, do you want to answer, uh, ask your question? And then I'm going to go to my questions and then we'll go back to your guys' questions. Oh, no, I am sorry. Hello, everyone. That was an accidental hand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Great to hear your voice, lady. All right. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Um, I don't have to see my face anymore. Okay. All right. So how did you guys get the part? And what was the process like? Go for it. You were there before me. Ah. Uh, which is a good segue into your story, I guess. Right? <laughs> um, I I had been on SF casting for a little bit before um, Ronnie, the director, or whoever did the post, posted it on SF casting, which if you guys are not on that um, and you're local, then you should definitely get on it because there's some, once in a while, there's some really, really cool stuff that comes through. Um, I missed this one for some reason. I didn't see it. Mm. And my friend sent it to me and it literally was like, uh, you know, the description of the short film. And then it was like, Tinkerbell. Play, uh, played by a drag queen and so for most of you who know me know that I am a drag queen and a ballet dancer um and I was like oh my god why did I not see this that's so crazy like that's like the one thing that I would have been like yeah like I'm in, I'm in on this um so I applied for it and I think they sent um Ronnie or whoever I can't it was a while ago I can't remember but somebody sent over the sides for um I think it was yeah, just the, the one scene that I did. And um, I had to self-tape for it. So I made a little, you know, self-tape station in my kitchen. Uh, and first time I've ever done an audition in drag. So that was kind of mm. a weird, um, for lack of a better word, mind fuck, because, um, you know, our uh, training is, is to bring yourself to a set of circumstances and put yourself into a situation. and. You know, of course it's me when I'm a drag queen, but it's uh, a little bit of a different version of me. So I was like, wh where's the balance? Um, so that was an interesting experience. But yeah, that, that's how I submitted for the audition. Um, I, I got the part and then Ronnie asked me to come in and read for um, a select few people that he was bringing in to read for Peter Pan. And um, I actually read with, I think, two or three before Winton came in. And I was like, <gasps> I had met Winton already uh, at like a casting director workshop or something. And I was like, oh my God. And then, you know, afterwards I was like, you should book it. <laughs> <laughs> so that way into Winton's experience. Yeah. I mean, I, I really think he had a huge contribution to that, definitely. No, it was all you. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> sure. He, did he say he put this on SF casting? Um, maybe just the I don't know certain, certain parts. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Cause for me, 
for me, this is a, a testament to like the stories I've come up hearing about, you know, like since I started acting, I'm just always like on YouTube or whatever, reading interviews, just trying to hear how other people are doing this. Mm. And um, like the, the power of social media, like, so I'm just creating my own stuff on Instagram, super small stuff, not even videos all the time, sometimes just photos. And Ronnie actually um, sent me a direct message and said he's working on something and he wanted to know if I'd be interested. So I think he probably sent me a couple pages of it. I told him he could email me it. And then he emailed me it and I was like, I'm totally on down. Let, I'm like, let me know what I, sh what I should do, what I need to do. Um, and then I think that's when later he called me in for, for an interview uh, or for, for an audition. Um, I think that was my... That doesn't that doesn't seem right i think my first audition was with you though i don't i i didn't do a self-tape i feel like he was just calling in a ton of peter pans and then he was just going to pick based off chemistry mm -hmm. versus just looking like isolated for a peter pan so um yeah i think i just i did that and uh i mean it helped it helped that me and rex had chemistry and then uh, he made me, or he asked if I wanted to do a couple more scenes with another actor that was there. Um, and then, yeah, I left. There was a friend coming in as I left. So I'm just like, bro, if either of us get this, that's dope. Oh, but um, nice. yeah, then later he he uh, offered it to me, so. Oh, wow. Wait, so uh, did he have a specific like type uh, in mind for Peter Pan? I think he just wanted, he wanted edgy. Like originally this was, this was supposed to be, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I can't describe, oh, I cannot describe what I'm trying to think of, but I will say he, he saw, like some of my photos is a lot of jean jackets with graffiti in the background. Mm. That, that at least gave him like a spark of an idea of what he was looking for. Mm -hmm. But when he sent me like proof photos of like wardrobe and stuff, mm -hmm. it was more like, sci-fi dystopia versus like what it became is like grungy dystopia mm. so he changed that a little based I think off of like just the way I normally dress but other than that yeah I think he was just looking for someone who looked boyish <laughs> but, but still had an edge you know what I mean well, so, that is so you. Yeah, that is I, awesome. I, I fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boyish, but edgy. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Wow. That was, that's really. And then you guys realized that when Rex, you saw him in the audition, that you guys were both first take people or something. That's what you said, right? I'd met Winston, I think, at a class and director workshop before. Or right. maybe. Mm -hmm. we, we recognized each other's faces, definitely, from a, a casting director workshop. Got it. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. You yeah. know, who would have thought? Like, it wasn't like you guys were like, hey, blah, 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 right? Like, we know each other from before. And, oh, that's awesome. Um, he went and do like a scene at a class at a workshop and being like, oh, wow, he's really good. Yes. And then and that's what I said to him. I was like, I don't know him super well, but I've seen him act before and he's, he's great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember, yeah, one of those. I remember the one at um, Victoria Burroughs' one was really good, Winton. <laughs> I just remember, I was like, yeah, I'm crying. Me and uh, sports movies and shows. I don't know, I'm weird. Yeah, uh, no, like that was a fun monologue for sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, let me see if anyone else has, well, I, was, I always, yeah, anyways, I have a bunch of questions. So what did you guys enjoy most about this project? <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, for me, I, I guess I would say, like, I, I was comfortable and confident enough with the work I put in that I was, I had the freedom to kind of, you know, go, go with how I felt. And then every now and then he would give me little notes to, to tweak. So it was a collaboration, but he really just trusted what I was doing which was really nice That's cool. um I mean that could be a scary thing too though because then it kind of feels like it's all on me to be like am I doing a good job am I not but I was really comfortable with this role um and then I think the favorite thing I like seeing was just the crew set mm -hmm. up like I think they spent more time setting scenes up than it took us to actually shoot it which is how it goes but um, it's it's really it's really amazing to see the work they do, and then even in the trailer, like the quality comes mm -hmm. down to just like how they decided to light everything and shoot everything. So I'm always fascinated with the, with the crew work. Yeah, 
That's mm. awesome. Yeah. What about you, Rex? Um, I'll second what Lindsay said about like noticing what the work that goes into making um, even just a 23 minute film, you know, the work that goes into making that happen was incredible and seeing all the other people, um, cause it was a pretty, you know, there's a lot of people on, on set and, and it was a good learning experience in, uh, you know, the need to be very prepared as an actor because you, the physically is not time for you to mess up and like get, mm. you know, flustered and ha need to have a moment or something like you, you know, you do like one take of something and then they're instantly on to um, uh, reshoot it from a different angle. And when they do that, they have to relight everything mm. um, to make it look the same, but also flattering. And you know what I mean? It's, there's a lot of like science that goes into the lighting, which was interesting to mm -hmm. watch. Um, Honestly, I loved having my own dressing room like made <laughs> for me. I was like, oh my God, I wish my dressing room was this nice. <laughs> like the reality of a drag queen's dressing room is like the manager's office of a nightclub. You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, some little room that has crap in it or something. So that was very fun. Um, and the whole experience was really fun. Like just working with the team and um, I also had a bit of a part in organizing all of the um, extras and drag queens to be involved in the sort of shoots leading up to him coming to my dressing room. So that was wow. kind of fun to yeah. organize. Um, and it was nice to be able to film at the stud, which is no longer the stud. So mm. um, it felt like it's really sad to see the stud, you know, being a very, uh, I would say, important sort of, queer landmark in San Francisco. Yep. It's very it's iconic. Yeah. Very iconic. It is a lot of history there and it's um sad to see it go. Mm. Which is why it feels more special that we were able to um do it there. Ronnie had said had said from the start he wanted to film there. Like I think that's, that's where awesome. he got the idea from because he was there and um yeah a lot of the insider stuff was kind of fun. Like seeing how they made the stud look like it had some backstage area that <laughs> doesn't exist you yeah. know like, that was crazy like, yeah yeah it was like it was that whole scene was shot in three different places yeah so it looked it, like one it totally yeah. did yeah yeah and it looks like it's yeah it looks like it's one and people were like all oh, these drag queens that saw it were like where's this dressing room <laughs> you know what i mean i was like no oh, guys don't worry it doesn't exist like <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So Rex, would you say that, um, you know, that when you were talking about how like, you know, you, we, you had to do one take or barely, right? And then have to move on to the next one so that they can, you know, set up for the next scene. Would you say that was maybe one of your uh, biggest challenges in the project during the project? Uh, I don't know that it was a challenge. I might have messed up a couple of times, but or like, or like said something not quite word perfect okay. once or twice. I don't really, really mm -hmm. remember that being like a major problem, but I remember being nervous about it. Mm. I remember being like, oh shit, like the pressure's on. Don't think about that, just do it, you know? But I think those kind of experiences are really valuable because you want to experience that, you know, um, not on set in LA for a really, really big, huge thing. You know, it, you want to kind of get those experiences um, under your belt just for me there's a big part of nerves that go into it so it was nice to see that experience here realize how important it is for you to really focus on the work and like telling the story and um, being as professional and prepared as possible because mm -hmm. they're really doing things down to the last minute we literally got absolutely everything that we needed in the amount of time that we had they spilled over a little bit mm -hmm. um, but it made me realize there's no room for like error really in a situation like that. Um, yeah, I don't know if that answers the question. Yeah, and you, and you, it shows like your professionalism because you had somewhere to be. Oh, <laughs> so he's like juggling being in the scene and then like keeping track of wow. time. Like I do yeah. have something. So what right we're now. talking about is there's this show called Broadway Bears here in San Francisco. It's, um, a sort of a creation of like the New York Broadway Bears, which is this big famous show that's been going on for years that raises money for different AIDS um, organizations since like the late 80s, well, since the AIDS epidemic. And um, 
they've started to win in San Francisco and I'd choreographed a number and I was in another number and they had their final dress rehearsal like scheduled like to be three or two or three hours after the shoot but we were going over and things were happening and so I jumped in a taxi after oh, yeah. that scene <laughs> I grabbed my stuff I jumped in a taxi ran up the stairs to this dance studio as my music was starting I oh. ran and like hit my pose and it was so like theatrical and ridiculous see like the Hollywood stories right there <laughs> that is oh my god that's so something that would that's be in hilarious. a scene <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. So I guess that would be maybe, what was your biggest challenge then you think? Pretty much that maybe, or? Uh, I don't know. Um, I was like, what about you, Vincent? I'm trying to think of something. Else. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, I think, I think I could probably go two ways with this. One is like mm -hmm. being, being in the scene. Um, like, say he had a shot list of, of angles he wants to get. Say it's, we're doing the same scene over and over again, but he had such a vision of all of these angles he wanted that we still had to be able to do it in a timely way. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, say we do, say we think we do a really good job on one take and then I realize it's not even on me. I say he, we, we feel like we do a really good take and he's like oh the camera movement was off we, we can't use that one you know what I mean so it's stuff like that it's the technical balance between like the camera moves and and our ability to act um and then just like the the real world stuff that we deal with you know like if this was to be a tv show what's crazy is is what we see on tv they only had a certain amount of time to shoot that Mm. That that person, that actor could have been sick that day and still had a shoot. That actor could have been dealing with the divorce and still had, you know what I mean? Like, mm. we don't know what life was going on behind what we're seeing them do on camera. And I was dealing with a lot outside of Peter Pan that I just tried to channel into the scenes. Oh. Um, so it's always interesting just just balancing real life and then what we're, what we're trying to create. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially, oh, sorry, go ahead, Rex. No, I was just going to echo that. Like, I, I think when I think back, because it, I think it was about a year ago, like the harder, the hardest stuff was just maybe just trying to constantly be ready to go at all times and, and be there on time and, and just help things move along. Because um, I think as an actor, you are concentrating on your work and, you know, you're focusing very much on that, but there's so many people that it's their like performance too, like everyone that's involved in it. And so there's a lot of tension that goes into making things happen in a tiny mm -hmm. matter. So I think the challenge was to make sure my makeup wasn't melting off my face the whole day because it was the peak of summer. <laughs> it's not a drag yep. Yeah, it was hot in there. So hot. <laughs> and then also like just be around, be in earshot if ever they're like, Hey, can you come back? We need to reshoot. Da, da, da. Like mm -hmm. just, you know, I think that was a learning curve too. Yeah. 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 I could see like watching the film, uh, watching the, sh the film where it was so aesthetically interesting. You know what I mean? Like there, I didn't even think like when you were putting it into words, Winton, like, Oh, he wanted certain angles and da, 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 da. like sometimes as an actor that hasn't been on set for a while, I forget like, they're like, Oh wait, we want to shoot this way and blah, blah, blah. And if you know, the director has a certain, you know, um, thing he wants to do specifically, like I could see that being, I would be challenged by that for sure. I'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you want to turn which way, you know? And, yeah. and then on top of trying to be real and you know, in the moment, yeah. it's like, crap, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's fun though. Like I like watching the TV shows. There are TV shows that do meta stuff like that, where it's like mm. the actor is pretending to be an actor and he's like, he can't hit his mark and he can't say his line. <laughs> Those type of episodes I love. So it's pretty funny. But yeah. yeah. Or when someone's playing a really bad actor, I'm like a good actor has to play a really bad actor. I feel yeah. like. <laughs> so, uh, Oh, look, David Ojakian, you have a question. I will take your question, mister. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> You're uh, hey guys, how's everybody doing? Mm -hmm. um, Rex, Winton, I just want to say great job. You guys did an amazing job. It was so awesome. It was so great to have the chance to see the film at Cinequest um, and be able to watch it. It was so cool um, seeing you guys up there. You did a great job. Uh, my question, I have a couple questions. Uh, one real simple one. You, you might have already addressed this, but like how long were the shoot days? Because five days to shoot is pretty quick it sounds like uh even for 23 minutes I and mean, i guess 
that you can get it done. But how long were the shoot days? And then also, um, have you heard anything about it has, has did did it win anything or or and how did it do at Cinequest? And then if you've heard anything about what's next for the project, if anything mm -hmm. yet, I know we're kind of in this weird pandemic thing, but um, that's all. Those are my questions. <laughs> we did have that yeah. question earlier, but you guys can answer it again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just a, a little more in depth, I guess. I, mm -hmm. I mentioned yeah. it was, it was like a five day shoot um, yeah. for the main scenes. And then he had to do like pickup shots for all the motorcycle stuff um, and right. maybe the city yeah. stuff. Um, but as far as the amount of time, they were they were easily, I would say easily like seven to 10 hour days, um, may, maybe longer. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, they, they go by pretty fast because everything's moving a lot. I think the only real time we would sit down is if they're like redoing lights, but then I would be running lines or listening to music is how I stay in the zone. Mm -hmm. um, or like during lunch or something was the downtime. So it kind yeah. of flew by pretty quick but yeah long long days for sure yeah, yeah, yeah. do you guys it, did you hear anything about how it did at cinequest if anything i i didn't uh, hear how it did other than like you know the people who would like randomly hit me up on social media to say they saw it and stuff mm -hmm. and then as far as like what he plans on doing with it i know like rex didn't he say he has like he has a whole season written up or you know he has wow. a vision for it it's really just, I think it just comes down to financing, you know, the money, yeah. the money yeah. acquired. Eight episodes, he said, I think. He's like, okay. already had them written and like scoped out. But yeah, it's just, it's just the money thing. And then there's just so many question marks in the air right now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, does, do we, I, yeah, I have no idea. Um, yeah. I'll have to, um, you know, shoot him a text and be like, hey, what's happening? But I feel like uh, now's yeah. not a good time to do that, but. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I yeah. will say, I will say I'm hopeful though, because he had such a vision just from me, like from him reaching out to me, to me seeing like the initial ideas he had for it, like the original script completely changed to what's on screen. And it's just because of how open mind, like how open-minded he was to it evolving and being fluid. Mm -hmm. um, and I know he's passionate to to want to do something with this, even if it like ended up on just like a YouTube web series or something, you know. But still cool. Yeah. yeah. But it's on Prime. Huh? It's on Amazon yeah, Prime yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So was it SAG guys? Was it a SAG production? I mean, not that um, it matters. But yeah. Like, no, I don't think so. Right? Yeah. No. I'm yeah, not yeah. Okay. That's okay. But That's okay. Yeah. No. He. I know he wants to do something with it and uh yeah like Winton said it did change like in you know the details and stuff but he's sort of got this like um very kind of great way of like storytelling in his mind like this sort of almost juvenile kind of like excitement mm -hmm. that he has to sort of like approach uh, telling a story and then Claire Fontana is I guess is she the executive director yeah yeah uh, she, I know she definitely was a part of the producing kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. production director or whatever um she yeah so the two of them together they, they work really really well like they're both like yin and yang she's like the one that is organizing stuff she picked me up in a truck so that she could no she didn't pick me up she came to my house the morning of the shoot to take basically all of my drag belongings to fill up the dressing room so she was like very hands-on like she was running around making sure everyone's got everything they need. And then Ronnie was the one that was kind of fighting for his scenes. Like there was a scene where they wanted me to go Ch -ch -ch with my feet mm. like that, which is such a small thing, but Ronnie was like, I need to get this angle of the feet going Ch -ch -ch, like that, like a clear angle of it. And the crew were just like, it's going to take another 20 minutes if we do that. And he was like, I don't care. I want this wow. shot. And so I think he was very, um, uh, you know, passionate about like the specifics that he wanted and, he has a great vision for what's mm -hmm. important, I think, to him. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Great job, guys. Thanks. Aww, thanks, David. Yeah. Well, uh, Rex, you started to touch on this um, earlier, but anybody can answer this question uh, first. But um, how did you guys prep for your roles and create your characters? And uh, Rex, when you answered, you were in drag, you, you mentioned right before. Did that make any difference for you since? Um, there's an added layer, so to speak. Um, yeah. yeah. No, for sure. Because I, I, again, like I was saying, like in class, you know, where with you finding ways to relate personally to a set of circumstances or a person situation, 
kind of filling all of the details with your response to everything um, going going around. And, you know, there's an element of like when you're in drag, it just was a weird question that I was constantly asking myself of like, how much am I being a drag queen, this entertaining person that's not a me, really, really me? Mm. And then how much of it is myself? But then the more I read the scene, the more I realized there are actually different parts to it. It's not mm. just one note. You know, it's not just a drag queen the entire time. It actually does go from, you know, this entertainer, this, you know, the host of the party to like a real conversation with her brother. You know what I mean? Mm. So I think that's what it was, that's where it's, it became more interesting. And I wish I could go back and redo it because I would get into that even more. Like, I think mm. that there's so much, it was, it was a challenge. That part was a challenge to go, how much am I, am I putting on this persona and how much am I being myself? But I think what it taught me is that you just need to read as like over and over and over again, like the script and find the answers to that question in the words because I eventually found that for myself, but that was a challenge at the beginning for sure. Yeah. Oh my God. I totally forgot to tell everybody what, who you guys played. <laughs> what? Cause we talked about it before. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, why? I'm like, they're probably thinking like, why were you in drag? And you know, what was the character? Um, you know. Yeah, I know. Right. Um, but Rex was basically um, Tinkerbell or Tyler. Right. Yeah. And, um, and Winton was Peter Pan. So uh, there you go, you guys. <laughs> Tyler and Peter are like adopted brothers. So that's mm -hmm. where that part that I was just chatting about comes into play. And then he's asking for Tyler and people are referring to him as Tink. And so it's this kind of, anyway. But yeah, then, it was yeah. really cool. I was like, oh, that is such a unique and interesting concept. I was like, wow, I really like yeah. that. Yeah. It's a cool spin for sure. Yeah. What about you, uh, Winton? Um, I, I would say our scene played amazing though. Like he got mm -hmm. the shots he wanted, especially when he took the mirror out. Like oh, that was oh, yeah. that yeah. shot's money, you know. So yeah, um, a similar. Uh, I think rereading it as many times as I can helps certain things stick out. Mm. Um, and then there are always, you know, just like a part of our homework process, there are clues everywhere for me to 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 pick, you know especially when it's more than one scene, obviously it's just more, more clues for me, like more gifts. So like the fact that I was in foster care, you know, the fact that I ride motorcycles, I feel like those already like tunnel who, who I'm supposed to be versus like pulling out of thin air. Mm -hmm. um, and he even went as far as, I mean, most people do this for me sometimes. They, they go as far as to like, they'll give me either a full on playlist of music for a vibe or sometimes when I read a script, they'll be like, Peter Pan puts on headphones and hits play. And then they'll have a song in the script just as like a vision for them. But I also take that and run with it. I try to find similar songs to like pull out what, what they're, you know, what they're going for. Wow. And um, music helps me a lot because my background is dance too. So um, it helps me like get things in my body and internalize it in my body. And then I feel like once it's, once it's in my body, it kind of just, yeah, it kind of just comes out on its own, which is pretty cool. But yeah, rereading and reading a lot, a lot helps. Wow, that's awesome. Um, let's see, and uh, oh, and then what was it like working with each other <laughs> with another first take actor. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is my first one. First oh, really? Yeah. One. Yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it, definitely. Um, was ours was ours the last day? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember what day that was, but it was on set. It was, we were safely inside, aside from it being hot and, uh, <laughs> And yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed it for sure. And I'm hoping, I'm definitely hoping we have more because there's like, there's some history there for sure that yeah. could be pulled on. Oh, it'd be so great. Because if you guys are adopted brothers, right? Yeah. Um, that's really exciting. I don't know. I, I hope this goes somewhere, you know. Yeah. He has like interesting kind of uh, ideas in, into what pixie dust is, you know, like this substance mm. that's like drugs and essentially and like what power right. that has within the community 
what relationship the drag queens have with that in like some kind of mafia kind of underground mm. thing. And then of course, like the story with Hook and like who that character is, I'm sure he wants to get more into Definitely. who he is for sure. Cause that whole part is, is, is like intense, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cliffhanger on its own, just to be like, give us more money so you can see more of this. Yeah, it's smart, I think, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, and yeah, everybody, I love, yeah, you guys are so good in it. Um, so what was it like uh, premiering at CineQuest? <laughs> and having it stream on Amazon Prime now. <laughs> oh, I'm always like, he's going first. Um, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just add that I, um, God, it's really hard to watch yourself on the screen oh. it's that big because it's like, <laughs> oh, like there's no, there's no like hiding from it, you know? It's literally like, so, and then the drag thing on top of that, guys, like I can't tell you like how, um, picky drag queens are about their makeup and so to see mm. it zoomed up that big and that close I just saw like so many things I wanted to fix you know like oh, no. <laughs> um, and it also because it was like a year before so like you mm. progress in your makeup skills and stuff so that technical element I was like oh this is really hard to watch but Aww. exciting yeah for sure yeah. I know I don't know I haven't imagined that yet <laughs> like where your face is like you know 10 feet big and you're like wow yeah. what is this yeah <laughs> you can't hide from it <laughs> yeah what about you Winston yeah 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 um yeah, yeah. no uh, I'll always I'll always have nerves um when I mean if I'm watching it by myself it's cool because I can just kind of like you know be in the shadows <laughs> but if they're like people there with me then it's it's like I know they're just trying to show me love but at the same time I'm like oh we're all watching this this is how <laughs> Nancy was there too so I was like Nancy's gonna say nice things but I'm like yeah. she's seeing all the things I'm seeing like times a million probably she's like yeah you know. <laughs> no, oh my was, god you guys are so funny that and I mean it's just like you know you'll hear some shows on tv and it's like oh they have the option of watching dailies and you know mm. there are pros and cons to that sometimes you may get an idea and then you can run with it a little more sometimes you see it and you may you know self-doubt and it could cause mm. a lack of confidence so I see both sides of that but I mean like seeing it complete like Rex said there's so much that I would I would have like not played up more but I would have mm. you know I would have just gave it a little more um but yeah those are just little critiques and notes to be like okay next time we learned and then I know that I can give it a little more next time but um yeah. Yeah, overall, I, I wanted to go to St. Quest a couple years ago. It's mm -hmm. just, you know, for me being like super far north in SAC, um, oh, yeah. I'd, I'd either have to like get a hotel or, you know what I mean? Like just try and see as many as I can in a day. Um, and this kind of just gave me a reason to go down there. Mm -hmm. So I was able to see like three or four other things, you know, um, in the span of um, the weekend or whatever, the, the couple of weeks. So that was great. And then I think I just woke up one day and the way I found out that it was on Amazon Prime is some random guy, I think in LA, he he added a couple of us. He was like, I think he was just like lifting up like smaller projects that are, mm. and ours happened to be one of them. So I remember checking my mentions on Twitter and he was like, check out this project on Amazon Prime. I was like, no way. I was like, oh, that was so yeah that was my retweet was like waking up to find out our project is on Am amazon prime is it was, it was pretty cool wow that's crazy yeah. so does that mean that um that ronnie didn't tell you guys <laughs> i guess directly yeah. he didn't i mean if he did he told me after that's how fast social media travels you know right even if he sent like i could check and he probably sent me an email or something but mm -hmm. it wasn't the first thing i saw you know wow that's so crazy yeah. man mm -hmm. Winton, especially uh, for this project, a lot of social media things have been connected yeah. to, yeah, yeah, to you, so yeah. I, I definitely, I definitely use it more of as like a, a tool for business than mm. for, for fun, fun. Um, like, cause I actually, I danced for 10 years and when I stopped dancing, I deleted all my social media. Oh. And then I started acting and one of my first jobs was a little photography print commercial for some wine. And this mm. guy was just oh, taking all these photos of himself I'm just like, what are you doing? He's like, right, you gotta get, you gotta get on social, you gotta get back. So I created an Instagram that day, and then mm -hmm. I just tried to start using everything for for business. Yeah. Like I only get notifications 
for casting directors I follow, producers I follow, you know, mm. so I make it very, it's very intentional with how I use it. Got um, it. It's helped a couple times. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I'm not, yeah, I don't have, yeah, I'm not that clever, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, I don't know what to use my social media for. I didn't come up with all of this. Yeah. It's just all of the interviews I watch. I'm just like picking mm. little ideas from everybody I listen to. Well, you're doing great because it's been working for you. So that's really awesome. I love that. Oh, you guys are so great. Okay. Oh, let's go. Uh, let's shift gears to, uh, well, not really shift that much, but you guys have been talking about it already. But what do you love about First Take? <laughs> um, I, well, first of all, like uh, you, you can see the difference in, well, I don't want to talk America, a lot of people that don't go to first take but like when you go to i'll phrase it like this in the film festival there are a lot of um movies that uh, have like ranging of varieties in like budget and like what goes into it some are really like huge production and like intense and then there are some that have more of a modest like situation going on um or, or shorter and the thing that makes something memorable is like how the actors impact you, how like how sharp they are with their comedy and with their storytelling and and making it real and really believable. Um, not all of those actors are obviously all from First Take, but a lot of them are that I see in general. And so I think I just love our approach to script analysis and figuring out how to make something real and um, like, you know, I've seen it with other actors from this school too. I, I it's sort of confirmed my um, appreciation for like our technique, I guess, or our approach to acting for sure. Mm, cool, awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just just to to go off of that, um, first take has only been um, my second acting school. The first one I went to was for like a year and some change and I left just because I, uh, I always considered it, you know, we have tools, let me go out and see what other tools I can put in the chest, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's like, you know, if you Google acting schools, you'll get over like five, 10 all in the Bay. And for some reason, first take is the one I clicked on. And once I saw you are enough, I was like, let me go audit. Ah, yeah, it was that simple. I, I just, you know, I have a spiritual background and that connected. Um, and then the first person I audited with was uh, Alberto. That's back when he was a teacher. Mm. And then I waited a little longer. And by the time I joined, it was with Danny. Um, but what I love about First Take is is the depth, like the whole make a list of questions and really, really analyze each like every page we read really analyze why we're saying what we're saying mm. or why we're hearing what we're hearing. Um, and and the, I, the concept of bridging isn't new, you know, as far as like personalizations go, but mm. uh, I've never, First Take has just helped me take everything way deeper than I even thought of, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, yeah, it's the level of depth gives us the, the specificity, the, you know, the details, I feel like. And then that just brings more nuances, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and definitely just, we come off as, as human beings and not characters. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> well said. Oh my goodness. Wow. Great answer. Jeez. Um, actually, <laughs> uh, you guys are so articulate. I love that. Um, and Alex apparently has a question. Sorry, Alex. I was just looking for little hands being raised on the side. Well, but. No. Oh, it was? I didn't see it. Yeah, it was no. a little blue hand, but um, go ahead, ask your question. Well, first of all, to you two, fantastic. I mean, I'm, you guys did fantastically well, and it's it's an, fantastic to see, you know, fellow kind of first takeies kind of doing so well and, and flourishing. I mean, obviously, something will do something right. It's actually related to the kind of two questions, really. The first one was, how much, so there are, there's new people on here or relatively new, right, on this, on this uh, call. How well did First Take prepare you for this? I mean, do you feel like it was kind of, it was enough of a lift to kind of get you to distinguish yourself to where you were at? Um, did you feel well equipped to kind of do the thing? I mean, based on, 
I mean, you talked about how you came to first take and all the rest of it, right? But how, do, do you feel like you were equipped, like you had the tools in the toolbox? Like was, was the stuff that first take teaches you kind of aligned to what they were looking for, right? Good question. It's my first question, I guess. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I mean, yes and no, because, you know, it, 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 I felt like it equipped me to, for script analysis, for understanding the situation, you know, doing all of the homework that we do in class, the things that I wasn't equipped for were just lack of experience and being on set and, and not being thrown off by that. I think that was a big one is not being thrown off of the focusing on the work. Um, just cause I was really, I, I, I've been, on set, I've been on set for like smaller things, not like that. And so I think that was something I just needed to experience and learn. Um, and, but one thing I, I will say that, the tools that we're sort of work that we work on developing at first take are uh, one thing that I think I could have benefited more from is the options side of things. Because I think when a director gives you adjustments, they will give you adjustments at any time. Like when you're off to the side talking about a scene that, you know what I mean? Like just uh, sometimes the director also doesn't uh, necessarily speak in the same language that we do um, vocabulary wise. They might, um, he'll like say a line for me in a certain way. And I know he doesn't want me to copy him, but he wants me to understand why he's saying it in that way. And then me to translate it in my actor vocabulary and then make that change. So I think um, I've noticed that like when you're given adjustments or shifts, if you've done this intense homework, that feels almost excessive, the amount of work you're doing into it. It's not excessive because when you get that adjustment or that little note, you're prepared for it and it's easy. It's not, oh God, I have to go away and think about this for another couple of hours. You know, you've already done that work. So I think that's something that I, I would have taken from that experience and I would apply it to the next thing is like, you can't do enough op option thinking and questioning and, and deep work, like Winston's saying, because you might hit it out of the park. Great. Go home. Did amazing. But sometimes you might be on set and there'll just be a small adjustment that um, it'll just it'll pay off if you've done the homework ahead of time to make that small adjustment easily. You know, that's what I took from that. Yeah. Thank you for that. Winston, anything to add? That's yeah. Feedback. Yeah, no, that, that's a great, a great thing um, that he says is definitely being able to take what we've learned in class. Cause for us, it's like, we don't play emotion. So it's like, if we're trying to access something, we have to, be able to justify why we feel that way, not just I'm angry, let me slam something. So if he's, he's giving us a note or not even giving us a note, like he won't say, you know, play it happier. Um, like, yeah, he'll be like, say this line like this, da 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 da, da you know? Yeah. And it's like, okay, but yeah, like you said, we don't want to mimic that. So it's like, why would I say something like that? It's like a really quick, we have to do our own research and like camera sets up and 10 seconds, let me figure out that note and put it into something that's authentic to me. Mm. Um, so I think that's a great point. Uh, the other thing I would mention is, is it's, it's definitely a yes and no. Um, yes, because if, if what we did in the audition got us the job, then we should be confident enough to be able to carry that on set, make the same choices that we've already made. It's like a confirmation that we made the right decisions. Um, and then the no part of it would be that it's not always me and Rex interacting in a scene. It's so like, say for example, I'm supposed to be talking to Rex, but say, bad example, but this will happen on some sets, is like the camera is the person I'm supposed to be talking to and I'm not actually talking to a person, you know? So it's like, it's, it's the imagination levels that we have to strengthen as well as the, authentic, like the authenticity that we bring to, to the words. Um, but yeah, being able to take audibles and then run with those without being like, I need five, 10 minutes, you know, is definitely um, a professional thing that we're able to do, especially if in we're if we're in classes. Like I know for my class, say we'll do a scene and then sometimes he'll workshop it. He'll make us do the same scene like two or three times if we have enough time. And every time I'll just do something different to just mm. play with my levels and hopefully I can know how that feels and how that translates so when we get on set if they want to see the same scene in different ways 
I'm not like trying to figure out how to do that on set. I've already experimented and played, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, first take has taught me to strengthen my imagination muscles and then to be able to take audibles quickly. Wow. That's fantastic, meaty yeah. kind of feedback. Really useful, actually. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. Just related to that, I mean, how interactive was it? Like, if you made a strong choice for something, was the director giving you immediate feedback, like, well, consider it this way? Were they giving you adjustments, like, real-time kind of thing? I would say, yeah. Like, I, I you know, I think he had had his vision of who Tinkerbell is, right? Like, mm -hmm. as this drag queen. And he would come in and he would say something like this. And, and I was like, I know, I know that he doesn't want me to copy him, right? And, and But he would say it, like, I mean, we would do readings before we got on set, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we had... Wait, did we have another reading after your audition, Peter? I I, I, I want to <laughs> say no, but maybe the day of, while they're doing all of the setting up, yeah. we're just like, yeah, maybe. figuring stuff out on the side. You know, and I think he, it was this thing of like, he didn't want to like uh, micromanage how we said things, but he was there, you know, and he would overhear and he'd come over and chat to us while he was, he'd go fix the lights, he'd go talk to this person, and then he'd come over and go, yeah, same like this, you know, and... Again, it's just the fact that he's not a first take actor that has our training means that he doesn't have the same vocabulary, but it's our job to translate, you know? Yeah. And so, but yeah, to answer your question, he was like very hands-on. Like he was very there hands -on. in the room, you know, there was no like, we'll practice what we have and then we'll see how he, you know what I mean? He's like with yeah. us very much, I think. Awesome. Yeah, Thank you I so would say we probably guys. even were able to we would get through a couple scenes and then maybe sometimes he would yell cut in between and then like say the cameras like need to fix something or fix an angle and then he would just talk us talk to us like he would wow. use it as an opportunity to like yeah just build up a scene a little more while the camera's fixing something mm -hmm. um yeah yeah definitely hands-on and even physical too yeah he would he would talk to us with his body and then with his tone of voice to really help us try and get his point which is it's helpful yeah yeah yeah. Wow. Great feedback. Thank you yeah. so much, guys. That's yeah. I didn't realize uh, we've been going for this this much. So actually, does anyone else have questions? I'll sh I'll be quiet now. And, uh, you know, because Alex had a very good question. So, oh, Carolyn, I can see. I don't uh, have a question. I just want to oh. say to both of you that I saw, I, I rented. It's a $2 rental on Prime. <laughs> and I can afford it. And you both are very well worth it. I was stunned at the cinematography, mm. Herb, and I was not at all surprised at the acting from either one of you. Uh -huh. And I thought your makeup, of course, I'm watch, I was watching on a laptop. Your, your makeup looked perfection, Rex. But, yes. right. Amazing. And both of you were totally believable and uh, wonderful. I hope it continues. I would watch it. And I love the adaptation of uh, Peter Pan. Very, very well done. Proud of both of you. Good work. And I'm going to say goodbye because I've got, I've got to feed my husband. He's okay. <laughs> um, You're so funny. Yes, yeah, not only that. Bye, okay. Carolyn. Oh, sorry, Wes, go ahead. And then okay. after, I think, Heather, do you have a question too? Yeah, okay, cool. Wes, yeah. go ahead. Everything Carolyn said, plus this conversation has been wonderful and very inspiring. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, one question, are there other series already written? Other other episodes already written? Yeah, so he, I know in the conversation, he was just like, I, I don't know how specifically and like actually ready they are to go. You know, I, I remember asking and he was like, the other seven episodes are ready to go. They're, they're written. Like I have the whole story arc and I'm sure there are, if I, if I said, show me them, he probably wouldn't be like, here they are. But he okay. definitely has... It just it's all like money unfortunately I think mm -hmm. that's what it sounds like but mm -hmm. he has a vision for it he has like you know um hopes and, and so it makes me realize that what it must be like to write a pilot and then for it to not get picked up like that must really suck you know what I mean like I think all these directors and writers have like you know a story to tell and and there's so much about the San Francisco yes. time especially now that I'm sure yeah. would maybe change the story even. I don't know who knows, but yeah, oh. he does have them written, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you both very much for this time. I really appreciate it.
Wes. Thanks, Wes. Um, Heather, did you have a question? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry, ignore my surrounding right now. This was happening in between my workouts, so y'all like, <laughs> anyways. Um, so congratulations on both, and I actually got to help Rex uh, audition for that. Yeah, that's I right. Read. What? I get to read with him. He's like, Heather, can you come over? I help this audition. Oh <laughs> my gosh, how cute. So I got to go over and stand in the corner of his little, like, kitchen set. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I got to see Rex get from Rex to uh, Lady Camden slash Tinkerbell, so that was mm -hmm. fun. Um, anywho, uh, I want to say congratulations on this huge thing. What do you think is the biggest lesson that you both took from this experience? Mm. So deep, they yeah. have to think. <laughs> um, uh, do you have something? I was just going to say, like, I think that um, doing, like, something that I could take from it and, like, if I were to go back in time, just get more into it is, like, being prepared and doing good work goes so beyond what you think it goes. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. I, I think that, like, if, if... I don't know. Like, I, I think it made me realise that, like, I want to continue to do good work, even if it ends up on the writing room floor, you know, like I want to just do really good work because I can tell that the director, everybody appreciates it when you're prepared and when you do amazing stuff, because like when you do good takes, like people that you haven't even like met yet or haven't like spoken to you will come up to you and go, oh, I love this part. Cause da -da 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 -da. so like it rubs off on people and like people appreciate it. It makes the, the environment like exciting and fun when everyone in the room is like um, on their shit, you know, and like making it happen. So it, it made me go, even if I have like a nothing part in a future project, I want to just be like, I don't want to be just like checking in and checking out. I want to be like invested in whatever's going on because it rubs off on everyone and it makes such a big impact. You know, that's one thing I would take from it. Yeah. Um, for me, I, I would say, um... It's, it's really helping me, it's really helping me with trusting and doubling down on the choices I make. Um, and, you know, especially us being creatives, it's easy for us to let fear or self-doubt uh, creep into anything we do, whether that's art, dance, et cetera. Um, and it's just like being able to recognize when I have that voice and then just like push it aside, you know? Like I see you're there, but you're not, you're not needed in this scene, you know what I mean? Um, and just really being present has always been something that I've been working on um, because I feel like that's, that's definitely where it comes out. Like anything when I'm not talking, being present to listen and being in thoughts. Uh, <laughs> Whoops. And that's Wes, I, I muted you. <laughs> Can I give him a rating? Uh, oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, so I think that was my biggest thing, <laughs> being, being present um, in, what I, in what I do. Yeah. Thanks for answering those questions. I think uh, both of you guys are very uh, talented, and I cannot wait to more things come from both of you. Winton's actually one of my stuff that we're editing before I all get in contact with you. But yeah, no, no, no. Oh, good. Yeah, that's why I was surprised uh, when when I when she mentioned your name. Really quick, I would say the things that have helped me the most is absorbing as much information from actors that I can. So there's so many interviews, panels, webinars going on right now. Reading industry stuff has helped me. Following people on social media has helped me. And then the casting directing workshops have helped me because, you know, me and Rex ended up meeting each other and then we ended up being in a project together. And same with Heather. We've met each other a couple of times at casting director workshops. And then she recommended me for a, a project too. So mm. just being in touch with other creatives. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. So what's like, oh, does anyone else have a question? Because I was going to ask something. No. Anybody? 
everybody's so shy and, in, and entranced by you guys. Um, do you guys I have? Say I'm so oh. proud of you guys. Sorry, oh. I was, I'm, I'm being a little lurker, but uh... <laughs> Nancy's here. Anyway, uh, Winston is like so shy now. <laughs> No, I'm so, so proud of you guys. You guys are crazy talented uh, and just so articulate. I love the stuff that you're sharing with these guys. I know you are an inspiration. It was a thrill that I got to be there at the um, uh, premiere at CineQuest right before everything shut down from COVID. Ugh, it's crazy. <laughs> it, was like, it was pretty much like the last thing, I think, before... Uh, uh, it shut down, but it was super exciting to see you guys and your faces on the big screen. And uh, anyway, so, so proud and so grateful that we get to have you guys in our first take family. So sorry. I wasn't sure how long you were going to before. Oh, yeah, I didn't know I how long you just either. get a praise thing in there before. So I'll go away. No, <laughs> Nancy's so funny. Oh, my gosh. No, I mean, I mean, I will probably wrap up soon. I don't want to keep you guys too long, too. Um, but do you guys, I, I guess I have two last questions. Um, what advice do you have for people just starting this journey and, uh, what is next for you? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always like trying to, I'm trying to look at his eyes to see, what uh, it is. I, see if I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not ready, I'll do this. Okay. <laughs> I'm like you to go first. All right. Uh, I was just going to say, I think advice number one is like so much nerves is debilitating. You know, I think you want nerves to get you excited and to do it, but like so much nervousness and in, in, uh, internal monologue is dangerous and it can take over really easily mm. if you let it and i still struggle with it even in class like i get nervous for something and i'm like this is class i should not be nervous this is crazy but um i would say that advice for new people or even just people <laughs> who are acting is like you want your nerves to heighten what you do and make you feel like what you're doing is important and um make help let your nerves like help you respect what you're doing and and like get into it and pumped but when it's like holding you back it's just not useful in any capacity so it's mm. it's using the nerves to your advantage you're not letting them take control i guess cool that's good advice yeah one that i hope that i can take one day <laughs> yeah for real I, i'm still doing the same thing yeah, yeah. yeah. um uh, I, I would say, um, hey, what was the question? Just advice? Yeah, advice. And then after you guys can answer, what's, um, your, what's next? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, for, for me, like I, like I mentioned earlier, is that um, I forgot where I heard it, but they're like, if you're going to try and learn a new skill or whatever the case may be, is like immerse yourself in that world. Um, I mean, everyone will have their opinion, but I look at it like Olympic trainers, or even people who are into fitness, like it becomes a lifestyle versus a hobby. Mm -hmm. um, so the choices they make every day kind of have an impact on what they're trying to do. You know what I mean? So for me, if I can like read an article that has to do with the industry every day, cool. If I watch an interview here and there, cool. I'll write down takeaways because it's easy for me to forget what I listen to. Um, so just, I would say learn yourself is huge. Like I read a book one time and the sentence was learn how to learn. And I was like, <laughs> what? It blew my <laughs> mind, but it's true. Like if you know how you operate as a person, you can double down on the way you learn, you know? Yeah. Um, so learn what works for you. Um, definitely the nerves thing is huge. Like I may, I don't know, I may hide it. I may not, but, um, I'm, I'm anxious 24 seven. I just have really good face now, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> a really good masking face. No, but, uh, but yeah, uh, always be learning something too. Cause one of, one of an, uh, an actor once said, if you want to be a better actor, just focus on being a better human being. Mm. Um, so I'm in my everyday life. I'm just trying to get better at listening. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get better at comprehending what people are telling me and then saying it back to them in my words. Like, yeah, what's cool is whatever we do in life, 
it it benefits us in acting because in acting we get it. So it's yeah. like if I want to read a random book on financing, I bet I'll have an audition in six months where I'm going to be like, yo, that book helped. You know what I mean? You never know. So it's like we can always be learning something new. So I would say double down on skills too. If you have any other skills, that's just going to give you a leg up. So. Oh, those are, that's such great advice, guys. Oh my gosh, especially about being a learner. Oh yeah, Nancy, do you want to say something? Or No, just that's amazing. Yeah. I think that's actually one of the things that's really impressive and why you guys are doing well. And I think, I think that you have so much more in store, uh, absolutely as far as uh, huge careers go, because you, you're both super committed to wanting to get better in the craft that you put energy and effort and care and so everything you shared uh, was relating to that which everybody you know wants to do less work and it's, it's it won't get you there if you really want to do this uh and work professionally so I, that what th those are amazing answers Yes, <laughs> you guys should totally be patting you. Sorry, my our, horn, our leaf blower guy came and it's really loud now. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. He's it's like, not that bad. It's not that bad? Okay, good. He's like right okay. here. <sighs> um, oh yeah, so what, what's next for you guys? Um, I mean, I know COVID and all this stupid crap is happening, but I mean, COVID is happening, but yeah, yeah, yeah. do you guys have anything coming up? Or... Plan. I mean, Susan just got uh, a big fat audition. Who? Cool. Winton? Susan just got a big fat audition. Oh, 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 I'm on me. I was like, I was like, oh, this is not about me. <laughs> Bill, this is, this, is <laughs> yeah, this is about first take. Yeah, this is about first take. I'm like, what's going on with you guys? Uh, no, no, it's about Winton and Rex, but I just yeah. figured I'd throw that in. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, God. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. It's, it's it's exciting because it's about it's a hallmark uh, uh, oh, wow. uh thing and i love hallmark because you don't have to get naked you don't have to do anything like you don't have to you know like yeah. be totally crazy and stuff and so i'm like no, oh works. i love hallmark I will, i'll totally do hallmark <laughs> like, that works out. yeah but anyways um but yeah what do you guys got going on or any special projects um i know winton's doing something with heather maybe like come oh out. i mean no 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 i mean it's a uh, Wow, we did that so long ago. Um, I can't speak on it as well as she can. I just mm -hmm. came in, did a, you know, did a supporting role. I got to play a boyfriend. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you know, with, with every project, I just consider it practice and I just give it my all. So we'll see. I was thinking about that a couple of days ago. I'm excited to see how those turned out. It's like women in their 20s, 30s in the Bay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, right. but no, that was cool. Um, I think I've pretty much shot everything I shot and now it's just you know because I think everything slowed down people are mm. defaulting to try and get it on streaming services just right. so it's seen now you know like there are no more film festivals though they're I guess trying to turn those into online mm. um so yeah just a lot of stuff is being released online and I mean auditions are coming back here and there and it's all self-tape now which is right. cool because I was always already prepared for those um so yeah just just getting, getting ready for, for self-tapes again when they come. That's awesome. Okay, cool. How about you, Rex? Um, not much, really. I'm, I'm sort of, uh, you know, just looking at local stuff. Like, like if auditions come in, you know, just, um, which is not a lot. So, yeah, there's nothing really lined up, planned. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I've just been trying to use this time to um get more into the craft I guess yeah. like it's like a yeah. like almost like a little excuse to kind of um just prepare yourself for when things do come back yeah like I, I like to think like it really sucks of course that right. nothing's happening and it's really discouraging to also sometimes hear casting directors kind of go you know yeah. um, but at, at the same time it's sort of like well how about when they do come back even if it does take forever how about we are all so amazing and prepared that you can't say no to us yes <laughs> uh, yes uh, thank you like that like uh -huh. this time to just like work on the craft and just get like 
too good for it, you know? Yes. <laughs> Nancy put a thumbs up and I was like screaming in my head. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So nothing really, but I, I don't know. I, it's great that we have stuff to do online and we're all getting better with self tapes. Yeah. And um, I think we want to get better at self tapes so that it's not such an issue. Cause I remember mm -hmm. when auditions would come in, I'd be like, Oh God, let me get the lighting. Let me do it. You know, whereas now I think it, if it's helpful for us, if we can just be like, have an easy setup to make, you know, the technical stuff not so overwhelming and scary mm -hmm. and, and just kind of part of the process so that you can focus on the work. Yeah. Just so that we're doing that, I think. Yeah, that's awesome. I feel like Winton's in his setup because I can see at the corner <laughs> of your thing. I, I was like, is that a ring light or <laughs> are you using where, a where, ring where? light? Like behind me? Like you're in the corners of the, of the screen. Oh, yeah. No, this is the uh, the thing thing. Oh. What are they called? I don't the, know. the backdrop type of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so no, cool. I don't audition with my laptop. I do zooms on my laptop, but yeah. I, I, I do auditions with my, my phone. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Like, this is like a, a lower version of my setup. But I see, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't know if anyone else has any other questions, but um, I just wanted to, anybody, any last takers? Oh, Prakati? I don't have a question. I just wanted to thank you guys. The, this was amazing. Seriously, it was so inspiring. Thank you so much. Aww. Yeah, that's the point. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, well, I am so thankful uh, to have um, been part of this as well. You guys, uh, I was fans of you guys even before I saw this. So um, it's been like super, super fun to see this come to, you know, come to fruition. And then just seeing, you know, how you guys do work so hard and it's very inspiring. So uh, David, did you? Look, you unmuted yourself, so. <laughs> no, no, because I just wanted to say bye and great job yeah. as well whenever the time is. I mean, well, so, so well said. They both spoke so well. You guys, great mm -hmm. job. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. So congratulations and thank you so much for being here. Thank you all. Also, I mean, do you guys have any last words or are we going to say goodbye? No. Uh, yeah. Thanks for spending uh, spending some time with us. Thank you guys for I doing know. this and taking the time, and Susan for doing the interview. That's uh, just super generous of you guys. And mm -hmm. yeah, I think everybody's inspired, aren't you guys? Totally. Yeah. You can show your faces and <laughs> yeah, or say thanks or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Let yeah. them know. I, I know people are feeling it. Yeah. Man, yeah. I want to say something, Rex, and and um. You guys, I'm, I've been with Self Take for a year, and um, you don't know me, but I know you guys, and Winton, and, and I, I'm a big fan of you guys, so thank you so much for doing this. You're a huge inspiration to me, Aww. and I just downloaded your movie, so I'm going to watch it tonight. <laughs> oh, yay! Enjoy. Yes, it's in the chat. Thank you, Wes, uh, for, <laughs> for asking for it. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. You're my heroes. Aww. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. Anybody else? Yeah. I just wanted to add one more thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, okay. uh, you guys are so talented. I literally feel overwhelmed. Oh my God, I'm in class with these guys. It's like, <laughs> wow, I'm so lucky to do that. Thank you. No problem. I feel like. I feel like people have unmuted, so I'm just going to call on if you. People have unmuted. Yeah, that's Nikki. Funny. Nikki, yeah. 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 Thank you so much, Susan. Um, this is Nikki. I just want to say I learned so much and took down a lot of notes. This is my first session with First Take, and um, just like your experience, Winton, I Googled um, acting schools in the Bay Area. I read everything, and this was a school that I that I, I dealt with after I you know, read all the reviews and the actors and the success, successful stories from your school. But after listening, I think... <sighs> Of all the interviews I've listened to, I think this is the one that I probably has made the most impact with me. Aww. Yay. Thank, Thank you. Awesome. That's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting really emotional. <laughs> yeah. getting emotional. Good. No, it's just great to hear success stories from young people and their true stories. True, true. Thanks, guys. I'm going to watch it too right after this. Aww. Aww. Enjoy, enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. Yeah.
Good night. So, oh, uh, is that it? Oh, I thought Summer was unmuted for a second, <laughs> but. <laughs> I just want to say thank you very much. I learned a lot and uh, yeah, it was great. And you know, that thing is you are enough. I heard that from your talks quite a lot this evening. So that, that's good to hear. It's reinforcing to me. So thank you. It's good. Uh, All right. Well, I think that's it. Thank you guys yeah, so sweet. much. Yeah. Woo. Thank you, oh, Jose. Jose just done. Oh, Jose, it. yes. These guys are are warming up. They, I know they all, the, everybody's like dying to say something. Oh, okay. All cry, right. Because they're starstruck. So, <laughs> <laughs> Jose. Uh, all, all I gotta say, all I gotta say is, you know, thank you, thank you for tonight, and uh, thank you for inviting me into this session. Um, yeah, um, it's really creating fuel to my fire. So no doubts, I'm just going to keep going, work my ass off and, you know, just do what I can. Sweet. Did you, did you join the next session, Jose? I'm sorry? Did you join uh, next, next session, week, uh, uh, week one next week? Uh, not for, uh, uh, for July 21st. I signed up for Susan's. Uh, oh, okay. Ah. You're leaving us? Oh, you guys in the yeah. no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, he, he, yeah he, I am unfortunately. Last Wednesday, eight week. No, you're good. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just, I'm trying to fit my schedule. So no, definitely, fun. yeah, yeah. Especially because it's late, late. No, it was good. Uh, good seeing you, man. Hey, you too, Winton, and thank you. You did good, and so do you, Rex. Thank you. And thank oh, you, he Nancy. Wrote a note. She she said. Amir said, I have to head home. Thank you so much for tonight. Uh, Wes, uh, great stuff, great work. Lolly, thank you guys so much for this. It's such amazing insight. I can't wait to watch it. Learned a ton. Well, um, it's going to get a big surge, this the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From hey, guys. It's Shantae. Shantae. <gasps> Shantae. Mm -hmm. um, so I watched the movie a couple months ago, so it was great. Excited to see more. You guys did awesome, and it's cool to watch you guys grow and go further. And Rex, I I um, helped you with the scene during class. <laughs> yeah, because we did. Do you remember that? We read it in class. We read it Oh my god. Heather, you remember? Making this happen. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it was Shantae. Shantae yeah. is the reason you got the job. Yeah, so just waiting for, for my cut. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, you, guys, you guys are amazing. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank thank you. you Shantae. Uh, <laughs> I know. Do you know how many people are readers and want, want credit when you guys do book things. I know. <laughs> it's funny, no, I, but it's funny. Or actually, I think people go, oh my God, when they get it, I'll be able to say, I was reading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say like I had uh, Sasha, is like a newest student in the school, asked me to read with him and he was just like, so grateful and like so, uh, you know, read, thank you, as if it was this really big deal. And I was like, you know I'm calling you when I need a reader too, right? Like. This, this, <laughs> All of us, we're all in this family together. Yeah. Like, yeah. no, we're all doing each other favors, okay? So, like, get into it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Damien, did you want to say something? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, um, first and foremost, Rex, I don't think we've met. I'm Damien. Nice to meet you. But, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to say I'm super hyped for both of you guys. Like, that project is awesome. Like, I had to rewatch it, like, several times. And it, it's every time I watch it, it's just an awesome, awesome project. So for those that haven't seen it, that's, it's worth the watch. Um, and I just, it's awesome getting to like work with everybody here and um, getting to know you guys. So uh, Winton, I also want to say, dude, super hyped <laughs> and uh, looking forward to our scene next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you guys in class together? Are you guys are in fellowship together too, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Are in the same fellowship? Yeah, I thought so. I thought and so. Last. That's awesome. <laughs> in the yeah. Searchlight family and the First Take family together. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna find something. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't even worry about it. It's cool. If you need help, I'm here for you. If you need sure. help, but I'll show you. You have the artistic vision. I know you do. So oh, it's it's crazy. hilarious. I haven't picked the last like three or four scenes. It's all been Natalie and Amaris. They've been going in on finding. <laughs> 
Yeah. No, and Natalie and Amir's are in that fellowship. So it's like all of you guys in class mm-hmm. and in fellowship together. That's hilarious. Yeah. Amir's oh, took off. Heather says has to head out. So. Oh, bye, Heather. I think she left. Oh, already. she left already. Oh, okay. Just yeah. Uh, I just remember one thing too from the, sh- the movie. I was like, when uh, Winton, you had that, that makeout scene or whatever. Or oh, it was like I was like oh no are we gonna oh and then I was like oh thank God Phew. this is <laughs> I, like, it's, I feel like have sex in front of her <laughs> I know like the word like I feel like I I love my friends but I don't want to see that you know like I love you guys and you know but it's just like yeah. uh, that's why I like I was next to you when you said that you were like wasn't I I don't know I think oh, I, I thought I was sitting next to you when you were like. Oh no! I was. Like, I, know, I, was. I was like, Oh no! Please, God, let's yeah. start. Like, that was that center quest. It was that center quest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so Susan, you wouldn't watch one of my scenes like that? Nope. You're having Sorry. Sex? Oh nope. my gosh. Sorry, D- David. No, I can't. I can't. So uh, it's too Watching much. Watching people you know having sex is yeah. Not. It's it's. A- <laughs> yeah, that sounds wild. I'm like Hallmark for life, baby. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, I'll do Hallmark too. I'll do I Hallmark know. Hallmark. I'm like, oh God, help me. Okay. Anyways, sorry. That was just a, trying to make you guys laugh. Shante saying this took a turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, Shante. It didn't happen. That's why I was like so. Th- you know, I was like, okay. yeah. Yeah. Good acting. Good acting. Winston. Hey, I would have. I would have rooted yeah. you on Winston. I would have. Yeah. I want to put it past Ronnie. Though. Dave is waiting for his turn to have a sex scene. <laughs> Like Ronan, Ronan's first job was on Euphoria having a sex scene. It was, so but but so thankfully it was very far away, so you could barely see it. Oh god, <laughs> uh, I would have not watched that scene either. I'd been like, oh <laughs> good lord. Uh, anyway. It could have just been a makeout scene. Would you have watched a makeout scene? No, I did scene? watch it. It was a makeout scene. I'm, I'm no, okay think, with that. Okay, got it. Yeah, got yeah. It, got it, got it, but it just went that far, which was yeah, yeah good. Yeah. It was so spicy. <laughs> It was yeah. so believable. Yeah. It was so real. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make it real. You gotta go for it, right? Wait, uh, I, I would say no. I would say I was probably at like a seventy percent of like my engagement. But no, it's, it's awkward. I'm sure it's yeah. awkward. It's awkward. I say. Yeah. 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 Or not, you know. Yeah. Yeah. As long as <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we should talk about that one day. Yeah. Like, how, is that awkward? Like, you know, like, how did that? You know, I had a, that's a whole I had one makeout scene in a student film. This is years and years and years ago. It was actually really awkward. It was. Yeah. It was really awkward. It's, 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 but, it feels like it would be awkward. Yeah. 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 It's why when you like meet someone, like, yeah. you, you've known them for a day or maybe two, and it's like, hey, we've, in this scene, we've been together on and off for a couple of years now. Yeah. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Action and, and go. Be authentic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make yeah. it real. It's yeah. Cool. Like Alex uh, Garcia's job in Southland where Oh I, yeah, that was like naked scene with uh the lead guy uh get gay relationship and Alex right. and straight. That was like uh but yeah. they didn't have sex. They would just Yeah, like, that was, I just yeah, that was like a it, it was yeah. an after sex scene. Right. right. <laughs> I'm okay with those. Yeah, that's fine. Post coital. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, oh, the didn't know what it was. He said, "No thanks." <laughs> I wouldn't have known either. That up. It shows up, and there's no sock. <laughs> I don't think the the star of the show was thrilled because he's also no. straight. That Alex got into bed with him with no sock. Maybe I should stop recording. Sorry. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oops. Oops. Oopsie. Oh, sorry. It's okay. We'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. We'll cut it out. Yeah. Oh, I always have to do do that. I, it's just the funny. Envelope. Yeah. <laughs> but anyone else want to say goodbye? I think everybody did though, huh? So, and Pragati's still laughing. I'm glad we can entertain her <laughs> this way. <laughs> but. All right. Well, thank you, guys, you guys so, so much. So you went over. Hey, I know. Just a little piece of gossip, just because it just happened today. Uh, Michael T. Williamson is going to come be a guest. Um, just talked to him today. Yeah. So uh, he is Bubba. 
I know, I know. I know. He's it, amazing. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna, yeah, he's amazing. He's just like super crazy talented uh, mm -hmm. actor. So, um, and he's a filmmaker, producer, director, uh, has a great new project that he's doing for uh, Black Lives Matter. That's a great true story. Uh, not a, I mean, it's a terrible true story, but it'll make a great movie. So um, anyway, so excited to spend some time with him today. And so you guys will be hearing from him soon. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Nance. And thank you guys again. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Yeah. I love you guys. Love you guys too.